The Lori Vallow Daybell murder trial continues in Boise. Today we heard more testimony from witnesses. Here's Don Nelson from our sister station KIVI with what was said on the stand. Graphic testimony and a bizarre delay are the two big takeaways of day two of the Lori Vallow Daybell case. And there was one witness on the stand. He was a detective with the Rexburg Police Department. He served warrants at Lori's apartment and what he found and what he didn't find was very interesting. Day two of the murder trial of Lori Vallow Daybell began Tuesday morning at the Ada County Courthouse with the key players ready to hear vital testimony, including J.J. Vallow's grandfather, Larry Woodcock. We're all ready for it. I hope everybody here has had a great night's sleep and rested well. And really? You uh, let all these people here to uh, continue <laughs> the saga and look forward to doing it. This morning's testimony began with veteran Rexburg Police Detective Ray Hamercio. He recounted how surveillance on Chad and Lori began after the Woodcocks expressed concern about the welfare of JJ. In fact, just yesterday, Kay Woodcock gave emotional testimony about the last time she heard JJ alive. He just said, hi, Mama, hi, Papa. And then then he looked up as if as if someone, whoever was holding the device, and he goes, got to go, Mama, got to go. How do you say it? Got to go, Mama, got to go, Papa. Bye. Okay. And that was it. So that was the end of the conversation. That was it. Yes. So it was a, a short conversation. Yes. And that was the last time you ever had contact with JJ Vallow. Yes. On August 10th, 2019. Detective Hermosillo testified that Gilbert police were in Rexburg in November of 2019 to serve a warrant on the Jeep involved in a possible shooting in Arizona. It was there that he says he went to Lori Vallow's apartment complex and ran into both her brother Alex Cox and Chad Daybell, who said JJ was with his grandmother in Louisiana. It was then the detective says Chad claimed he only met Lori a few times, despite the fact the two were married two weeks earlier in Hawaii. A search warrant was then approved for three apartments where officers found a gun, a magazine, ammunition, silencers for a modified rifle, a Halloween mask, and a signed agreement to a storage unit. Detective Hermosillo says he then widened the search to Tylee Ryan after her brother, Colby, hadn't seen or spoken to her for quite some time. Since Lori did not report her children missing to the Rexburg Police Department, both JJ and Tylee were added to a National Missing Children's Registry. Testimony then picks up with Rexburg Police with other law enforcement serving a search warrant at Chad Daybell's property while he was there. That search included a fire pit, a pet cemetery where both JJ and Tylee's remains were found and taken to the Ada County Coroner's Office. The trial was delayed shortly after the lunch break because Lori Vallow wanted to be dismissed because of the graphic testimony. The judge denied that request, said you're staying put in the courtroom. Also, the detective described the day he went out to Chad Daybell's property and found the bodies of JJ Vallow and Tylee Ryan one bound by duct tape, the other burnt beyond recognition. It was hard to watch. At the Ada County Courthouse in Boise, Idaho, I'm Don Nelson, Fox 13 News, Utah.